England manager Bobby Robson was a keen onlooker at Highbury in February 1985 with a qualifier for the 1986 World Cup the following week against Northern Ireland. Tony Woodcock was among those in his sights as he returned to the Arsenal lineup to partner Charlie Nicholas up front. This is United starting 11. The midfield was missing regulars Brian Robson and Remy Moses. Kevin Warren was captain. And former Arsenal favourite Frank Stapleton made a return to Highbury in front of another very special guest. The referee today is John Martin of Alton in Hampshire. And a distinguished visitor here this afternoon is the King of Tonga. So Arsenal get us underway, attacking the goal to our right. Manchester United this afternoon in the white shirts. On an afternoon when really the time has come for both these clubs to start making inroads on that lead that Everton have at the top. Both know that three points today are so crucial in their bid to get in amongst those championship hopes come May. Arsenal, in fact, have lost only one at home this season in the league. That was against Tottenham. Good record here against Manchester United, although they were beaten 3-2 in this corresponding game last season. And here's a chance for an early break, but the flag was up. Mariner's shot was over. The linesman's flag was up. United breathe again with a free kick. Flag went up straight away. And you can see that there probably was a touch of offside about it. Warren. Olsen, a lovely ball and a lovely piece of running and look at the space here for Arthur Orbiston. Now, can they finish this one off? Oh, my goodness, it was almost an own goal by Tommy Caton. A lovely run by Olsen and what a ball there that suddenly put him in the clear for Orbiston. Could so easily have been an own goal by Tommy Caton. And United have a problem. Kevin Moran, who was only past fit late this week, in fact, yesterday, because of a calf strain, looks as though that might present a problem for United now, which probably would mean that Mike Duxbury would have to go into the centre of the defence, and the substitute, Norman Whiteside, is already warming up would then take one of the forward positions. I think Moran's going off. The physiotherapist, Jim McGregor, is having a word with the referee. Now, whether they want to bring him back at a later juncture, I don't know. But for the moment, Manchester United, with Moran off the field, are playing with ten men. Here's Nicholas. Oh, good play by Nicholas. And well, not a bad finish either. play it's a chance for United to get back to full strength Kevin Moran off will stay off and Norman Whiteside will come on troubles with Brian Robson still up in Manchester and there's Remy Moses in the tracksuit top also with an injury next to him is Alan Davis who's decided this weekend whether to join Crystal Palace or not it's a throw to Arsenal which Williams has taken Mariner the touch for Charlie Nicholas now Stuart Ross chance to make one of those forging runs of his and a nice ball studiously played through and McGrath pulling Woodcock down when Woodcock looked for a moment as though he might be clear and dangerous and a free kick to Arsenal. It's a lovely ball, studiously played in there, and Woodcock really looked as though he might have pounced on it. So, what can Arsenal do with this? Is it made for a curler from Charlie Nicholas? A blaster from Tony Woodcock? It's Arsenal's free kick. 
there are one or two permutations there. Mariners in the Manchester United wall. It's going to be Woodcock, and it's driven just wide. And a goal kick given. Again, Arsenal thinking that it may have been a corner. And you couldn't really tell from that whether there was a deflection or not. Nicholas and now Strachan it's Sanson with the throw for Arsenal and a good long one it is Stapleton finding Olsen. That's not a bad ball for Norman Whiteside. Onto that left foot. A brilliant goal for Manchester United by Norman Whiteside, the substitute. Superbly taken. That gives United the lead on the half hour. Olsen playing a lovely ball through, but the hard work now is done by Norman Whiteside. Arsenal nil, Manchester United one. Scorer Norman Whiteside. Nicholas. Anderson, the flanks going here. No. That was a jolt for Arsenal, and it's certainly a warning up in the stand for Bobby Robson, the England manager, with Norman Whiteside due to face England in the World Cup on Wednesday. And relief, although you wouldn't spot it there, on the Manchester United bench. And a bit of a problem there, not only keeping the sun out of their eyes, but wondering how they're going to get the goal back on the Arsenal bench. But here come Arsenal streaming away with Steve Williams. It won't reach Woodcock. Samson then with the throw. Here's Nicholas. Corner. Ten minutes to go in this first half, with Manchester United leading by a goal to nil. O'Leary's gone forward again. Nicholas again with the corner. Oh, and a free header for Viv Anderson. And he put it wide. Well, he's annoyed naturally enough, and there must be vast relief in that Arsenal, in that uh, Manchester United defence. Look at the space they allowed him. Half-time whistle, and the goal after half an hour by Norman Whiteside, and a fine one it was, gives the visitors a lead here at the interval. So the big crowd contemplating what might happen in the second half, but talking over the first half that finishes Arsenal nil, Manchester United 1. Well, I hope our visitors from Tonga are enjoying the sunshine and the glimpse of our first division football. So Manchester United get us away at the start of the second half, leading by a goal to nil. Remember with Kevin Moran off the field, injured, and a substitute Norman Whiteside who scored the only goal, and Paul McGrath playing in the back four. It's O'Leary now for Arsenal. Manchester United, in fact, who did the double over Arsenal last season, would have already beaten them 4-2 up at Old Trafford this season. But here's Woodcock. That's a shot on the turn and the first real save of the game that Gary Bailey's had to make. Woodcock with a good turn here. Over the head of Caton, but a foul on him by Stapleton. Free kick. Sensible. 
with Koch. It's been pounded by the United defence, particularly McGrath in this second half with Koch. Nicholas being watched by Duxbury. Nicholas. Oh, he might go all the way, Charlie Nicholas. Davis with a chance. And somehow Bailey saved it. And a really close attention there from Tony Woodcock. Made by Charlie Nicholas in the first place, though. Now that's a bit more like it from Nicholas. And the feeling is that Davis might have done a bit more than that, but good work by Bailey. Now, Stapleton. In for Mark Hughes. Might take a bit of holding off. There are three to do it, though. Stable and playing it in, can Strack and get there! Touch and go there for Arsenal. It needed just a touch from the spot. And Lukic was already committed. It was a nice little ball played in there. And Lukic gathered it. Strachan's header. He's chased a few pauses today as Stapleton, and he's brought down by Caton. Caton's name goes into the book. Caton claiming it is a pure accident. But there's no doubt at all that Stapledon was through and looking really threatening. Anything might happen here. The ball certainly needs to be perfectly lined up. Gidman's gone wide to the right. And the referee wants the wall back ten yards. So it might be a blast by uh, Norman Whiteside, in point of fact. Olsen touches it. Whiteside blasts it. Oh. Well, a few cheers from the North Bank as Arsenal start to warm up. Ryan Talbot. remaining now and still United lead by a goal to nil going to try and bring Torbert on now the linesman flagging away there but he's not really ready and that's holding up everything and I can't think why the linesman was flagging there Arsenal not making the effort to get him on right now and the game's going to be held up for a minute while he gets on he hasn't even got his uh, sweater off yet well, I think that's that's ridiculous. It's Paul Davis, I think, who'll probably go off, although there isn't a number. Unless the referee showing it's the number eight who's got to go off. And Brian Talbot comes off. Well, he publicly said today that he wasn't very happy at being dropped. He thinks it's his best season he's had at Highbury, and indeed, 11 goals to his credit seem to agree with it. But one of those goals, Arsenal could certainly do with now. Good cop. Gidman holding him off. Arsenal get the throw. Inside the last five minutes. Robson, Williams. Now the break is on. Three against one for Manchester United. Olsen is one away on the right. Mark Hughes is away here on the left. And only O'Leary is back. Now Olsen can no, he can't finish it off. Lukic was out there. Well, what a moment that was. Three against one, and they played it superbly United. But in the end, Olsen couldn't quite finish it off. And certainly the crowd here of 48,612 must have felt that's goal number two for United. But it's a corner instead. Arsenal's third biggest crowd of the season. They had bigger ones against Liverpool and Spurs here. Olsen, and headed clear by Anderson. 
Olsen again. Well, the lad who had a week or so here as a youngster, training with Arsenal, very nearly scored. The United right at the death. Stable and trying to get in there. Right side trying to get in there again. And somehow O'Leary just hacking it away for a Manchester United corner. So we get the corner. Precious little time left. Strachan with that corner. And a goal kick. Time has come now for Arsenal to plunge everybody forward in the last desperate attempt to pull something from the game now. Mariner up. Nicholas trying to get Woodcock on his way. In turn trying to get Torbert through. I don't think Torbert's had a touch of the ball yet. The substitute came on and scored for Manchester United. Arsenal will be desperate for the same thing to happen for them now. On the right side did it, and Torbett also. Inside the last minute now. Free kick. To Arsenal. Foul by Strachan on Robson. Pushed everybody forward now. Only Williams, Sanson and goalkeeper Lukic are back. And now Williams is going forward. They've really planted everybody forward now. Anderson tried to get the header in. O'Leary also trying to keep the momentum going for Arsenal. And a corner. Torbert racing off down towards that corner flag with the ball. And they've pushed everybody now into that Manchester United penalty area. Oh, and it was knocked away by Whiteside. So, Nicholas now with the corner at the other end. After Whiteside had done a tremendous job there in defence for Manchester United. Flick gone once more. Sanson trying to get it in there. United trying to get it away. Woodcock also. Robson in there. Caton in there. And in the end, it goes behind for the goal kick. Well, a huge relief amongst the big travelling support for Manchester United. And now Whiteside. looking at a watch again and again and three minutes of injury time now free kick to Manchester United the feet of Viv Anderson a little too high there as he tried an overhead kick and you have to say now that Arsenal's last chance the forcing of the equaliser is probably gone. Alderson with the free kick. Final whistle, a victory and three precious points for Manchester United with a goal by Norman Whiteside after half an hour. A lot of pressure from Arsenal late in the game, but never really with a clear sight on goal that would give them the hope of making the breakthrough that really mattered. So a full-time score here at Highbury. It's Arsenal nil, Manchester United 1.